Hey guys, welcome back to Reviews and How To's. I'm Tyler. Today we're going to be checking out this whole home dehumidifier. And Placent did send this to us first to check out. Now, I've been running this for the last few days. Uh, I've had decent results with it. No issues at all with it running or anything like that. It has a 2.5 liter capacity here on this tank on the back, which is right here. Super easy to uh, empty this. Got to get a little bit better angle at this. But all you do is you grab it just like that, pulls out, and then it has two holes up here. And you can, you know, dump this into your sink, toilet. Uh, lots of times we'll take this outside, out front, and just dump it into the flower bed. That way we're, you know, not really wasting water, but we're watering our flowers with it. Has a connection here in the back also, which makes it super easy and convenient to be able to dump that water in case you don't want to pull this out. You can just, as you saw right there, a uh, little bit of water already came out on it because, like I said, I have been running it. But then you can hook this hose up to it. And then you can take this hose and run it into a drain, like in your basement, something like that. And then you don't have to worry about uh, taking this out all the time. It'll just automatically dump that water. Uh, and then if you don't want to use that, you just screw this back on like that. And then you can stow this to the side somewhere. Now these little plugs back here, these aren't like plugs that work or anything. It's just somewhere where you can plug in your cord uh, to keep it safe during transport. As you see, it does have wheels on here. It makes it really easy to move around. It also does have like a little spring-loaded handle up here up top. You can grab it and pick it up and move it around. It does have a little bit of heft to it though because it does have that compressor inside there. So uh, the wheels are probably the optimal way to move it around if you're just sliding it around unless you need to go up and down stairs. But you do have that handle available. Now, speaking of that compressor, you might be concerned with how much electricity this uses. I've got it hooked up right here and we are going to go over these numbers here really quick. Uh, it's currently pulling 120 volts. It is rated for 120 volts. Uh, and then right now it's pulling 0.26 amps and the watts on this is currently at 32. Now that's without the compressor running. So we'll go ahead and lower it down to see what the compressor numbers are. All right, so I did just turn that compressor on and we are now at 188 watts, 120 volts still, of course. And our amps have bumped up to 1.6 amps. So a decent uh, bump right there, of course, because it's running that compressor. But still, that's not that big of a draw, uh, especially if you compare this to like, some larger models, stuff like that. I did notice here on the back, it does have a most efficient 2024 Energy Star rating on it. So that's really good. Uh, as far as a whole home, those numbers are really low. I have another one that I have tested, and those numbers are about three, four times as high as uh, what this one is. And I did also test how fast this pulls the uh, humidity from the air. And I saved it to my phone here. So it looks like we started out at about 61% uh, and then we dropped down to 52%. This was just in my kitchen. So it wasn't like locked away in a room or anything like that. This was truly dehumidifying uh, the entire house. Uh, so as you can see, it drops down fairly quick. Uh, the average was about 54, which is really good. That's uh, about an 8% drop. And then the lowest was 52. So, and then uh, this little time span that I have selected here, which I think was about eight hours, um, that is how long it took to fill that 2.5 liter tank all the way up. Now, in regards to uh, operation of this, really, really easy. Um, the one that I've kept it on the most has been the automatic mode. So you can set whatever you want your humidity level to be. You can set it all the way up to 80, I believe, and as low as 30. And then it'll automatically turn on and off based on that. It goes back into the mode right there, and then it'll show you what the current humidity level is. Uh, this button right here, as you saw, changed that level. You also have a lock button, a timer feature on here. You can bump up the fan between the first level and the second level. That's the only two levels that it has. And then over here, this mode, you have one that does like air drying mode for your clothes. So it pulls out tons and tons of moisture. So you can like lock this away into your laundry room. You have the continuous run right here. So if you just want it to continuously run, you do that. And then you have this one right here, which is the night mode. Turns everything down kind of lower. And then these lights up front, will eventually uh, turn off after it's been into the night mode for a few minutes. 
And then we go back here, and this is, like I said, the one that I keep it in. And then this little button right here, if you push it, that's like the little spring-loaded handle. And then you push it back down to lock it back into place. All right, so that's the operations of this dehumidifier. I wanted to go over one other thing with you guys, and that is how loud is this thing. So we'll go ahead and turn on our decibel reader here. Uh, me talking just like this, we are at about 65 decibels. And if I'm quiet, I'll turn on this light on here and we'll see what it reads. Don't know if you can see that or not, but whenever I just looked at it, it was at about 57. Which is pretty quiet, that's not too loud. Um, decibel readings, uh, it's like 10 decibels lower than we'll be talking. I can just uh, barely hear this. Uh, and then I do also have an air conditioner here in the back that's probably giving us a few readings as well. But overall, I really like it. Nice and quiet, uh, definitely drops that humidity level down as it says it would. So if you're interested in something like this one, go ahead, check it out.